Ah, my minions, we're going to disperse a little bit of information about my organization today. Many, many years ago, before Mr. Smog became head of my security, I had a young man by the name of Robert Field Meisterstein. Yes, I know that's a mouthful. He was my head of security. He was a brilliant tactician. He was a, a wonderful warrior, and he did a lot to keep me safe from my enemies, and I really appreciated it. One day, after we had uncovered the ancient text of the pharaohs that could bring people back to life from the dead, he was very nearly killed, or some people believe he was killed in action, uh, fighting the forces that were trying to steal the tablet from me. It was a, a gruesome spectacle, and I decided to test the tablet for the very first time on his mangled, disfigured corpse. It was a success. He returned to life, and he had no memory of the past ten years. So, we took him back to the labs and we tried to reboot his memory and get him going again with his training, but he never seemed fully there. We trusted him enough on a mission that another time when we went out, he was again brutally injured. It was terrible. It was he was again mangled and disfigured, and again I brought him back from the brink of oblivion using the ancient Egyptian tablet of life. This time, however, he not only didn't have any memory of the mission or of previous missions, his brain had become quite addled and he would only respond to the name Bob. So Bob was put into the laboratory to do menial labor. He would clean things up, move things around, and he did this successfully for a couple of years, and then he seemed to get worse. One of my experiments that he was in the lab when the lab exploded gave him a form of super invulnerability. He was much harder to hurt. Uh, Dr. Darling also suffered in that explosion the same fate. Uh, they were now rendered nearly impossible to physically harm. This was both uh, good for them, bad for me, as Bob's mental state continued to deteriorate and I could not trust him anymore near anything sensitive because he was constantly blowing up laboratories. Yes, it was not a good thing. Um, I signed him jobs just mopping floors, and I found out one day that he had fallen in love with his mom, which apparently is named Beth. And then, suddenly, without warning, Bob disappeared. Now, we know he can't have gone far because, well, he left Beth behind, and he wouldn't do that. Something happened to him. I haven't been able to discover what yet, but I'm sure I will. Bob is out there somewhere, and his mop is calling to him. There's some more floors he needs to clean, more toilets he needs to scrub, more windows he needs to wash, and I'm sure... He will be glad to, once we bring him back from the brink again.